Welcome all of you to our channel. Thank you for watching. My husband apparently didn't make the cut for my friend's international wedding. I was so incredibly excited to receive my friend's safe date last June. Her wedding is this coming September. I promised her years ago, before my own wedding and a child, that I wouldn't miss her wedding, no matter where it was. She has been single for quite some time and had been yearning to find someone. So I know her struggles, and I'm so excited for her. She sent a chat channel of a bunch of our group friends the safe the date and its three day celebration in India, a few day in Mumbai, and a day in Delhi. We are from Los Angeles. I rarely take time off, as I'm not a full time employee with. PTO, but I wanted to live up to my promise. I assumed that my husband would be invited. They have met and partied in the past, as I didn't think he would expect us LA friends to go halfway around the world, a thirty-hour trip to developing country was a safe thing to do alone. That and because he's my husband, not boyfriend, and I was used to the American etiquette. Of typically inviting spouses, unless otherwise noted, my husband and I planned to make a trip of it and created an entire itinerary to various countries to visit friends instead of doing the entire thirty-hour travel all at once. I booked our tickets, made arrangements for my son, and excitedly told her that we were coming. Note: I tell her we. Her and Vice are not arriving for another few weeks, about a month or so before the wedding. And had I seen only my name on it upon arrival, I would have been asked her at that moment if it was okay for my husband to come, or knowing how my husband is, it would have been absolutely okay with him to head home and skip the nights of the wedding, since India would be the last leg of our trip. I really like to chalk it up to price stress, but she and I talked, and after the conversation, I feel awful, and I do think it was a bit of an overreaction and made the situation worse than it needed to be. Her words were that I was disrespectful of her headcount, that I just assumed the safe the date was an open invite, and she was pissed I didn't run it by her first. And that her wedding had become a joke. I reassured her as best as I could that everything was okay, and I completely understand. Apologized if it upset her, that is her wedding, and she should be enjoying this occasion, not stressing about it. That she should do what she planned, and everyone would be supportive. She repeatedly asked if I was still going, that it was just the principle of not being asked. That miffed her, and I reassured her everything was okay, and tried my best to keep things lighthearted and supportive. However, after the discussion, I feel unwelcome that I was invited on accident. She mentioned something about not realizing who was in the group chat, but she was so excited and just pasted her safe the Jason it, though she was likely referring to other people. But given the context. Of the conversation, it felt directed at me, and now I've upset the pride. My question is, how do I gracefully exit out of attending a wedding without adding to her stress and causing a rift? I would honestly prefer to sightsee than have a two to three day commitment in a country I have never been to. I would also like to enjoy it with my husband, despite being married for seven years. We have never taken an international trip together, life, kids, etc. Got in the way. She knows my tickets are booked. Canceling would be costly, but in my slightly bruised heart, I really do not feel comfortable attending her wedding. But I know if I say no, I will get a slew of questions, and she will feel responsible. I do not want to cause drama, and I would like. Your guidance on how to best navigate this gracefully.
Is my reaction and gut desire unreasonable? Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share video, and leave your comments below. See you guys on the next episode.